Here's Peter, everybody. Aw, he's purring. We love him so much. We love him. Yeah. He just wants to be loved, don't you? Okay. All right, lovey. You can come out. Yeah, so he needs to go through some healing. He's not eating right now. I'm going to try to give him something, but... Poor little Peter, I saw this guy's been through hell and back. Um, if you'd watched the video about my animal abandonment, Peter was featured in the open and, and the clothes, and the last thing was him going to the vet, which he did. So uh, yesterday I picked him back up from the vet from Quail Crossing, and Dr. Kimmel said it, it was basically something he has never seen what had happened to Peter before. It was just horrendous. Um, so really kind of what I want to do is give you an update what this poor little dude went through. So, Peter had an abscess on his left side. And when I saw the abscess, I had made an appointment with Dr. Kimmel at Quail Crossing. Well, a neighbor down the road took it upon herself because she loves animals. I mean, she her heart was good, she meant well. Well, she ended up taking Peta to Arizona Spay and Neuter Clinic. What they did was just mind boggling. They literally, on the right side, okay, the right side they removed all of his teeth. In the middle of doing all these extractions, apparently they called this lady and said, all his teeth need to be extracted, but it's gonna cost you over $1,000 should we proceed. In the middle of it. And she's like, well, no, God, it was just for that abscess tooth. What I believe, since I haven't heard anything, is that since she wasn't gonna pay that much money, they literally went, finished up, pulled everything from the right side and never even touched the side that needed to be touched. They did a half-ass horrible job. The sutures were so bad, they didn't even like really tie them down. So the sutures all the way on the right side were all ripped out. So he gets back home, he goes back out, and I find him, of course, bleeding really bad. And I didn't know the extent of it at that point, but apparently everything was just mush. It was just flesh, and there was no sutures hardly even to be found. Dr. Kimmel had to re-suture the entire, I'm doing it the wrong side, the entire right side that never should have been done to begin with. And then on top of that, he had to go ahead and extract the two teeth that were creating the abscess to begin with that were horribly infected. So he ended up getting two teeth pulled from the other side and then all the sutures redone on the right side. And then he had said with the sutures, I mean, it was like from how it was explained because I'm not all that is, they literally just tied them like once or twice and they were just so poorly done um, you know, that they just didn't hold. So I suggested to this woman that had taken PETA to the Arizona spay and neuter and do not ever, ever take your animal to a spay and neuter clinic to have medical work done. It's just ridiculously stupid. They do spay and neuter. I don't even know why they decided to attempt this. Um, but I told her she needs to take the photos that you're seeing here and go right back and get her money. She told me she paid over 500 bucks for that. It was just mind boggling what this poor guy, is, what this poor little dude has been through. But he's gotten the love, he's gotten the care, he's gonna heal, he's gonna be back out there being little PETA. And also I wanna tell you, they named him PETA, pain in the ass, which he is far from being that. He is the sweetest, lovable, most awesome cat. So I'm changing his name to Frito because he's a love bug. Come on. Okay, my little man, I got this big enough where I can get in there and pet him. Although, I'm not worried about him running like he did when that crate broke. Oh, my God. That was the worst fucking thing I ever dealt with in my life. Um, this little dude has been through hell and back. And he's on the road to recovery now, thank you, to Quail Crossing. He really, this guy is really, really amazing. All that PETA went through with that whole side getting sutured, two teeth extractions, and then... Um, they gave him antibiotics, pain medication, and a steroid shot. And he's gonna stay here for seven days to get all healed up. He's, he's gonna end up going back out, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay, I think he'll stay here. This is his home, you know. He'll stay hopefully close by. Thank you to Donna at Ranella's Rescue for doing everything they could to get him in, to be seen. Um, 
And uh, of course, there's always uh, a bill involved with this. And if you would love to um, help out a little bit, just five, 10 bucks, what, I mean, just every little bit helps. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. My email is below and that is for PayPal. So if you want to um, send some money my way through PayPal at Shelly66 at gmail.com, of course, it's so greatly appreciated because we all know how, and honestly, I, this bill for what Dr. Kimmel had to do with little, this poor little dude, um, I really thought it was gonna be way more expensive and it was 406 bucks. Um, and, but still 406 bucks, so we really could use the help. Um, but if not, I just thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a part of my channel. And um, we'll see you next time.